Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? What is up, all you fish tank fish keeping funkadelics? You watch your aquifer with me, Jay the Angel Freak. And a lot of y'all guys are probably thinking, Jay, you just did an everyday people because you're just standing out in the middle of nowhere talking. Yeah, I did do everyday people. So this is something different. This is actually a fish tank tour. I told you I was going to do fish tank tours. I'm coming down to Florida. I ain't got nothing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and live vicariously through other people's fish tanks. And this gentleman that I have for you today is someone that I'm a personal fanboy of. I love his channel. Um, a lot of you guys are probably um, sub to him. And if you're not, then you're just wrong. Because he's got an awesome channel. And not to mention, he's on fire right now. So if you want to be in the inn, check this out. All right, so here we are. Ryan. What's up? Tell us a little bit about your fish room and what you got going on. Please. You, hey, y'all, don't say nothing about the size difference. I swear, <laughs> I'm going to block you. I Don't do it. Don't. <laughs> um, I mean, got a bunch of shrimp, got a bunch of other stuff. Uh, hey, there you go. Yeah. I get down to your level? <laughs> jokes. But, uh, <laughs> we got jokes. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. I got a bunch of 20 gallon tanks. I got a big 125 back there. I really want to get into some more breeding. Breeding is my passion. So I really want to start breeding some more stuff. Um, a lot of shrimp, maybe some, some smaller cichlids, and uh, some Corydora as well. So, All right. So what we got right here on this top tank? What we got going on? I know a lot of you guys. I know a lot of you guys probably seen this, but there are a lot of you that probably have it. And if you have it, it's a treat right here. Watch this. Yeah, definitely. Welcome. Uh, take a look here. These are butterfly cichlids. I've actually only had these for like two weeks. There's a big mystery snail kind of in the way. And then uh, there's some bristlenose plecos. There's a blue-eyed lemon bristlenose pleco. And then a standard albino. And my main goal for this tank, like I said, breeding, I really want to get these African butterfly cichlids to breed. That's my main goal with this tank. Now that, that tank is actually, that, those fish are actually the first time I've ever seen those fish. Like I've seen a lot of fish, I've never seen that. And I'm gonna have to ask um, Ryan, if you do me the favor yeah. of going across the top row first. Of course, bro. Just because this is hurting yeah. my arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in this tank, this was a uh, shrimp mountain. Uh, there's still a bunch of shrimp in here. There's a mono shrimp. There's cherry shrimp. Uh, there's probably less than 50 shrimp in here because I, uh, I sold a bunch and I actually kind of sorted them and uh, took them out of here. This tank right here is some Blue Dreams. So you'll see some different qualities in here, but it's pretty much a 10 gallon tank with some blue shrimp. This one is kind of plants gone crazy. There's Malaysian trumpet snails. There's some uh, cherry shrimp in here. And there's just a bunch of, uh, I believe this is dwarf sag. And we have guppy grass galore. There's a, a crypt back there. Shout out to my boy Chris for this crypt. Now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell us about this substrate, cause a lot you got. This is uh... yeah, this is dirt. This is potting soil. Actually, kind of bring it over here for a second. This potting soil right here. This stuff I buy at Lowe's for like two fifty a bag, and I take out some of the larger the bark pieces, and I left with some dirt. And literally, that's what this is right here. That's what's growing these plants. I just put a little bit of a gravel cap to it, and. I've had this tank up and running for a little less than a year, and I just started fertilizing it, which has helped, but for the longest time, didn't even fertilize it, man. Okay. And hold on, hold on, hold on. These are just literally just household bulbs. Literally fluorescent household bulbs, people. All right, Nothing crazy. all right, but what I want to know is because I'm not a plant guy, I thought about doing that system that you just did. What about mess? How do you, how do you vacuum it? How do you, like, how, how would, what, yeah. is there any difference between, um, like taking care of dirted tanks opposed to gra yeah. heavy gravel? When, when you have a dirted tank, you want to make sure you have a cap on it. Like I said, this one has some gravel. This tank hasn't been gravel back in six months. So the only maintenance this tank gets is I take some plants out and it gets automatic water changes like the rest of the tanks three times a week. All right, give me one. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this camera around because look at how I'm filming this. Look at this, this is ridiculous, man. <laughs> I gotta do this just so that he can put the tanks eye level. We got more shrimp in this 20 gallon long. We got some yellow shrimp. And then in this next tank, we have. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. Man. I'm coming, I'm we coming. Got, we got some cardinals in here. And we got some bristlenose those plecos. Ones you were taking a look at, the little brown, the calico oh, brown yeah, and orange. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah. Where I, tried, I tried to bait them out with some green beans, but they went back. We were over here talking yeah. so long. He brought them out. He brought the green beans out, but we was oh, over this here. this one on top of the wood back there, the oh, man's yeah, in here. Let's see him, let's see him. 
Kathy, can you see him? Oh, he hid. He's gone. Too bad for you. You can't see him. But he's in there. We trust him. This tank is just, uh, there's nothing really in here. There's a few guppies, a few mystery snails. Not too much going on in there right now. Uh, we got a bunch of shrimp growing out in here. These shrimp are not the greatest grade, but they're growing pretty well in here. So just trying to grow these up and see how good they look. They're digging on that. Oh, that green, green beans, green. man. Unsalted canned green beans is my favorite fish food. Unsalted canned green beans. All right. Uh, unsalted. Unsalted. And French cut if possible. French. French cut. Make it easy. <laughs> no, no, wait. Make it easy. French what is cut, man. My, my fishing style. French cut. <laughs> no, all, all they do is they just slice them in half so they get to the meat easier. Uh, these are some African cichlids, some Lake Tanganyikans. These are um, Leo Lamprologus or Neo Lamprologus culture. I like this tank. I, that, yeah. that rock, I, I'm really. Tell us about that rock. Yeah, so yeah. that rock, I call it zebra rock. It's literally a rock I got from an abandoned railroad place. So it was like an abandoned railroad track. And there was some rock there that we got from it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. What else? Uh, this tank, unfortunately, used to house my pandagars that passed away. So right now, we just have some uh, some snails going on, a few orange shrimp, but nothing too crazy happening there. All right. Just the plants. All right, all right, all right. This this tank has some more orange shrimp. There is a, a crayfish in here. This is the tank I actually oversold the crayfish, and I got left with one male on accident. So a lesson. Don't sell all your fish, people. <laughs> is that one of your? Is that one of those um, plecos like the other ones? Yeah. Saw? So that's a pleco that I bred. That his dad is actually a super red, and the mom is a brown one. They look kind of brown, but believe it or not, the dad was super red. All right. Uh, this tank. I'll drop it here first. Haven't really told anybody, but this tank oh. is destined for some pea puffers. Uh, so we got a bunch of ram's horn snails. We got uh, mystery snails in here, and within the next, hopefully, next month or so, gonna put some pea puffers in here and see how they do. And they got a head start on some food with those with those snails. Yeah, sure. so I was about to say you just recently did a did a video on snails, and I know pea puffers would be digging on them ram's horn because they breed like crazy. Yes, sir. What we got going on um, here? over here? There's not too much in here, but there's some really actually some of my nicer shrimp. So there's some nicer shrimp, the red cherry shrimp, and then I got some uh, CPOs, some Mexican dwarf crayfish. Those are kind of new as well, and I'm hoping to breed those guys. Um, right here we got some extra blue dreams. I threw some extra blue shrimp in here just to kind of you know get them going. Actually, there's one of those calico bristles plecos. See the orange guy right there? So that's a super red um, calico bristles pleco. He's still a baby. I like them. Yeah, they're cool, man. I like them. That's first time. Uh, here we go. We got, the, we got the colorful shrimp out. This is the uh, 10 gallon tank over here. Shout out to Lucas R. Brett's, the little Skrittles tank. Oh, you got these from Melon? Um, I didn't get these shrimp from him, but I got inspired by him as far as just all the cool different colors and stuff. That's right. Shout out to show love where you get inspiration from. <laughs> and then uh, over here, there's really not much going on here yet. Um, just a few mystery snails to keep it cycled with a, a little guppy or two, I think, in there. Oh, yeah, see a guppy? Yeah, just kind of keep it cycled. All right, question. Yes, sir. Now, um, you, uh, you, how tall are you? I am 6'7". 6'7". So I get this. I get this, all this right here. I get this, I get this, I get this. What happened down here? What was going through your mind? So this is where I got a little greedy, I guess, and I wanted more tanks. So I knew I could go four high. My wife and I are both tall. This is actually eye level for me. I can get in these tanks without a ladder usually, okay? Down there, believe it or not, some evenings, the other day I put a picture on my Instagram with a cherry shrimp. It was actually in this tank. My big butt was on here, down here. <laughs> I mean, I'm like literally, you know, up in this. That's what I gotta do. So, like I was telling Jay, my plan is to take all the shrimp tanks, move them to the top, and take all the tanks with bigger fish, bigger fish, and move them to the bottom. Now, I don't know when I'll do that, hopefully by the end of the year, but that's the goal, so I don't gotta get on the ground too much. <laughs> All right, so listen, we're gonna move over to the other side of the room, and I'm gonna I'm cut you off, and then we're gonna I'll meet you at the other side of the room where we can see some of his other tanks. All right, so what we got going on here? So this is the 125 that I picked up, and uh, all the fish in here were rescued. So I got big Burt, he's a mighty sigma that just literally went behind the rocks there. Got a few big plecos. Let's talk about them while they're out. Um, I think one is a sailfin pleco. I'm not sure about the other one. But there's two big plecos back there. We got three fire mouth cichlids. The three pretty full grown. I think they're two male and a female. Yeah. There's Bert, he's coming out. <laughs> Let me see. So yeah, we got this big piece of Anubius I just picked up. Let's now, put some water, let's put some food up top here and see if he gets a little hungry. I actually, I, I'm, I'm looking at this Anubius in, 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 with, with my real eyes, <laughs> not through a lens. 
It is big. It's it's the biggest piece of Anubius I've ever seen. And to be honest, when I got it, this and this was one piece. Literally, that was one piece. And that kind of broke off, and I was like, ah, oh, it's big enough. But he had it. I didn't. I can't take credit. I got some a gentleman off Craigslist, but he had that whole piece growing as one. Uh huh. Tell us about your escape here. That's a whole lot of rock. So. I like the skates. I kind of just got all this rock piece it together. Once again, everything you see here was bought used. I didn't buy anything new. That's uh, Ernie, the pipe cichlid. Once again, got him as a rescue. So everything in here, I pieced together. Got some rocks from my buddy, bought some rocks from the tank, got that piece of wood with the tank, and it's kind of threw it together. Eventually, I'd like to get it all kind of the same type of rock, but I like it for now. What size tank is this? The 125, six foot long. 125. Yes, sir. I want one. I it's a nice size tank, man. It's a really yeah. nice size tank. All right, we're gonna come over this way. Yeah. What's this? A 55? Yeah, this is a 55. Now this is not permanently here. This is actually holding a bunch of fish that uh, you guys haven't even seen on my channel yet. So once again, kind of the first right here. <laughs> spoiler alert! Right. All these fish are destined to go in. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a rack system with a, a 90 gallon and a 75 gallon tank. And the 75 gallon tank is going to be a planted community tank with these fish. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, man. These Colombian tetras, do they always hang out just like that? You know what? I've only had them for about a week and a half, two weeks, and I'm not really sure. I think that uh, all these fish prefer like a planted tank, so I'm, I'm really waiting to get it all a tank set up planted to see how they really act. Okay, because I just noticed that they are all in one, like just, just the Colombian tetras, and I was wondering if they're a schooling tank. Tetris is not really my area, so when I see stuff like, look, they're all moving together. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, I mean, they're definitely, they, they seem to be a schooling type of uh -huh. Tetris. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know much about them either. You know, them and the red rainbow fish, I got them from, uh, shout out to David, a local hobbyist here. He gave them to me for free. He doesn't have the time from. He wants to, you know, maybe breed the rainbow fish with me. So we're going to we're gonna see if we can get some female. Okay, so the fish tour was going good. It was going great. So I didn't want to leave anything out, so I went ahead and split this uh, this fish tour into two parts. So hit me up tomorrow, same back time, same back channel, and uh, you can go ahead and watch the second half. So um, yeah, tomorrow second half, Ryan Lucky Schmuck's Fish Cave, right here.